back to another American Dad reaction. We're on season four, episode seven, Phantom of the Telephone. I'm gonna be real. I don't know what to expect from this. Like, I don't. I don't even think I've ever heard the word telephone. I'm just gonna look up what that even means. A very long television program, typically one broadcast to, to raise money for charity. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe, like, <laughs> maybe one of the characters in it makes a fucking telephone, and then it's got phantom in it, so maybe it's haunted. That is 100% not what the episode's about. But like, at this point, that's the best I've got. So, I'm just gonna roll with it. Let's go. Live what the CIA fuck? Headquarters in beautiful oh. Lowry, Virginia. It's the first so, I don't know, it's the CIA, CIA doing it, which is with your host, surprising. Agent Stans. Oh, hell yes. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. How about a hand for our band, Midget Assassin and the This Doesn't Concern You Orchestra? <laughs> what the fuck? What an oddly specific name. This is the very sound stage where we fake the moon landing. <laughs> yes. And the JFK assassination. Okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is where we planned the JFK assassination. <laughs> Sometimes I would be surprised at the shit that the CIA does. But people think that CIA stands for Central Intelligence Agency. I'm not gonna lie, that's the first time I've heard what it actually means. CIA actually stands for Stan Smith was born with both male and female genitalia. JK. <laughs> anyway, you're in for quite a show over the next 12 hours, so give generously. Okay, so yeah. Let's kick things off with our they, I did say it was like a long partners, thing on the Terry, definition I looked up. the volleyball scene from their favorite movie, Top Gun. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen Top Gun, but I don't even know any fucking scenes from that, like, at all. Francine, you must be so proud of your husband. This whole telethon was his idea. Oh, really? <laughs> I know. What the fuck is the money being raised for is what I want to know. What the hell was that genitals joke? Isn't that what we wrote? <laughs> yeah, what? We're supposed to say CIA stands for Central Insanity Agency. Okay. <laughs> yeah, why the fuck was that written that's there? That's not what was on the teleprompter. Well, someone must have messed with it. Wait, someone sabotaging this? Also, I find it funny that it's Steve and fucking... S that kid. What's his name? Snot? Is that his name? I can't even actually remember. Two weeks earlier. Okay. Did you hear? We just captured a new terrorist. Time to torture. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Get the strap him to the water okay. the car battery. They seem weirdly excited for this. Just they seem creepily into this is what I'm trying to say. Like to torture someone. But it's, I was just on Capitol Hill. The Democrats have completely cut our torture budget. <gasps> They're using the money to teach inner city kids to read. Oh no. What a, what a terrible thing. Teach these kids how to read. We'll just have to raise a million dollars and fund... Million dollars? Okay. Stan, it's okay. So you're not an idea guy. <laughs> yes, I am. Remember when I invented that machine? Wait, what did he invent? That wasn't a machine. That was a hat. <laughs> I am an idea man, and I'll prove it to you. How, how do you... What possibly could make this hat a machine is what I want to know. What the... We f oh my god, it's just called machine. We what the fuck? That looks terrible. Southern discomfort. It looks like a yeah, shitty, like, $2 take your socks elf off now, costume hat. Like, hat from an elf about? costume. Live from CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia... It's the first Daniel Wait, is it Roger that is coming up with this? And then Roger's the one sabotaging it because Stan's getting all the credit. Six miles. Not a marathon, <laughs> a telethon. It's the perfect way for I've never even heard of a telethon until this episode, in all honesty. A bullock loved my telethon idea. Yep, what? yours. A telethon? Well, that is a good idea. Way to go, Dad. Wunderbar. Wait a minute, your idea? You should have seen it. They were taking away all our torture stuff. Everybody's freaking out. <laughs> and then, like a bolt of lightning, it came to me. Telephone. Yes, definitely. It's not like he stole that from Roger. He didn't. It was my idea. Yours? Yeah, remember, Stan? We were in the living room, and I said, telethon. Stan, is that true? And he's going to be like, yeah, no. Oh, I remember now. Thank you. Yeah, you said marathon. Oh my like, god, are you fucking kidding oh, me? Oh, marathon. That's why Roger got confused. Oh. I'm sure. I find that funny because Stan's which is the one that got confused a marathon and a telethon. Which a marathon, could that raise money? I don't know. I let Jerry Lewis live. I think we all agree that was a mistake. Okay. I'm not going to be branded a liar again. Mark my words. This time, I will be avenged. Okay, then. At least he's not trying to kill Stan or something. Well, at least yet. Hey. Of course, it's Roger. Yeah, no shit. He's trying to Unless it actually is someone else. Call him when dinner was ready. What? 
Dave, tr fucking, it's because you lied and said it was your idea. Hey, everyone, look who just wandered in from their treehouse in the Appalachian wilderness. It's the amazing Buckle and Sherry. So, oh, I was going to say the... Funny, oh, wait. Is that the guy from that... Wild, like, that episode with Stan... You could survive five thought the world was me. ending when it was and a simulation? In a box and cuts her up. I'm just trying to create a sense of wonder. <laughs> you know what okay. I wonder? Why he didn't listen to my mother. Don't marry a mountain man magician. Yeah, wait. Is that the guy that... Is that the girl that Roger was going to also marry in that episode? I'm guessing. Let's remember why we're all here. This is a terrorist. <laughs> I'm surprised I actually managed to get the guy inside there. Snake, do you have information vital to this nation's security? I do, Stan, yes, very <laughs> much. And will you share that information with us willingly? Willingly? No. This is why we need to fund the CIA. To I mean, the okay then. We have just over nine hours to raise the one million dollars or those repo men will take away our torture. <laughs> I love how they're just waiting there as well. Which, I don't know why that makes it so much more funnier to me. I'm so proud of you, Stan. I really underestimated you. I'm a man of action. Yeah, I mean, considering ideas. Roger came up with the idea, you definitely didn't underestimate Oh my god. You definitely Dear didn't Stan, underestimate him. Admit you're the liar or my reign of terror will continue. Sign the Phantom of the Telethon. <laughs> Roger. Yes. P.S. <laughs> I don't know why you said the Phantom or whatever when you put your own actual name there anyway. Roger. Where is Roger? I'm guessing it's yeah. Oh, what the hell? Down the gauntlet. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I didn't expect him to actually be in, you know, costume. For some reason, I completely forgot about that. Let's watch. The so, what? Torture bloopers. Okay. What the fuck? Did they film all these things? I, I don't know why they fucking would. Yo, did he piss? Is that piss in his pants? Ah, oh, fuck me. I know this is a cartoon, but that still looks. Um. Cut, cut. I, I'm sorry, folks. I, I have no idea how that tape got in there. <laughs> oh, because it's obviously Roger. Yep. Oh, okay, never mind. They are making money. Here's the intro for the circus fair, Mr. Smith. Some acts are too hot. Some acts are too cold. <laughs> this act is just right. Oh, like Goldilocks. Yes, obviously. Part of me thinks people will be confused because there's only one bear. Get over <laughs> You really are, though. Okay, then. Has she been in another episode? She looks familiar. Folks, we gotta do better than this. You know, the CIA has captured a lot of bomb makers. Well, it's time for you to set off the biggest bomb of all. Okay, then. How? Your hearts. Okay, sure. <laughs> Wait, is that Stan's mum? I just realized. Hot. Some acts are too cold. This act is just right. Okay, that delivery was a bit shit. Joke killer. <laughs> joke killer. Please welcome Boris the Russian circus bear. Oh, hell yes. Oh, man. For some reason, I didn't realize it was an actual bear. Which, in retrospect, is kind of fucking obvious that it was a bear. Did Roger cut the fucking brakes of this bear? We were looking for Roger when somebody hit me on the head. When I woke up, Steve was gone. Wait, what? what Roger went with Steve. What the, what the hell? Fuck? Do not fear me, fair maiden. Um, my outward appearance may repulse thee. I assure you, my intentions are most pure. What are okay. You doing? The Phantom welcomes you to his home. Hey, this. Why did you. The fact that you dress Steve up it, like this is kind of fucking weird. Your criticism, my darling. Ah, the hell with this. <laughs> Steve, Steve, come back here. I am trying to do something. Okay, then. I don't think he cares, like, at all. Now let's go to a real good novelty today. Jeff Fisher and the Jeff Fisher hacky sack oh, attack. Oh, hell yes. One, two, the fucking hacky three. sack thing is strange. Thank you, Langley. Wait, that's it? Okay. What? You want more? I don't think they do. Like, it's not that fucking amazing. <laughs> oh my oh. god. <laughs> I was gonna say, is that fucking Roger? Because that was extreme. And like fucking kind of insane. Wow, really thought we were gearing up for a much more satisfying chase. <laughs> this, Roger, I'll kill you. I'm not. Roger, all you I'm have to do is just admit that it wasn't you that came up with the Roger. idea. Then all of this yeah, would have been, you, you know, what? avoided. Anyway, you'll never stop me. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, could he just do it as well? You can't stop the Phantom. 
These riggings and catwalks are my domain, and I am their master. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, okay. I've already destroyed this telephone. Is that a bomb? And untied your bow tie. Like right no. there. You've given me a relaxed demeanor. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Yeah. Is that a bomb? You planted a bomb? The hell are you talking? Oh my god, so wait, it wasn't Roger. Sam, it's not mine. All I did was change the teleprompter, cut the bear's brakes, release the terrorist, drop a fishing boat on Wait, the release the terrorist? Release the terrorist? What the fuck? He's Why? an explosives expert. We'll never be able to disarm it. Oh my god. Stan, I know exactly what to do. Put me down. What, play your fucking, like, I don't know, keyboard thing? How could you release the snake? Yeah, that was kind of fucking maker. stupid and over I'm the top. Master, I make a nice bomb. All right, snake, the jig is up. Um, uh. Prepare to meet your mecca. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> Fine. I love that he still needs fucking Steve to come up with these, you know, ideas or whatever to say. I'll give you the code to disarm the bomb, but first, you'll have to meet my demands. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Well, unless you want to fucking everyone in this building to die, I'd suggest you just do it. I need you to disarm the bomb. Oh, that? No, no. Oh my god, of course. Never going to disarm the bomb. Are you fucking you kidding me? bastard. <laughs> You're mad at him for lying? You guys are enemies, of course he lies. Yeah, dude. of no but shit, he was going to lie, you though. You stole my idea and lied about it to your own family. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, I don't understand right, why you didn't... Wrong. Oh, you just learned that now. I paid attention to anything that's ever happened to me before. <laughs> it's not too late to tell everyone the truth. Yeah, even though he's about to die, at least just fucking tell the truth. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, shit, okay. What's the code to disarm the bomb? I'll never tell! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they actually made $730,000. Honestly, didn't expect that. Wait a minute. Wait, what? I think I know how to save hey. us and the CIA. Okay, how? Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a lot of fun tonight. But when that clock runs down, this building will explode. <gasps> yeah, you should be concerned. Because that's the only man who knows the code to disarm the bomb. And he's not talking. And he's not talking because we can't... Okay, is this actually how you're going to get the money? Basically, like, yeah, we're all about to die. Send us money now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the fact that Roger's actually kind of beating the shit out of him is kind of funny. We have the money. Okay, well, Quick, we're 22 it. seconds to spare. Hold this up. Okay, what the hell? What the fuck are they doing? Oh my god, okay. Code is one, two, three, four pound. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? The bomb is disarmed. Okay. That's what I'm With like when seconds to spare. Roger. Oh wait, no, the button. The arm is disbombed. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that worked, even though it's somewhat manipulative, though. But I mean, I guess it did save them. Okay, that was actually a pretty interesting episode. It felt very different to, like, any other episode I've seen in the show, because at first, when I first started playing, I thought it was going to be, like, one of those sort of clip show type episodes. Like, or non-canon type episodes, if you know what I mean. Like, like I think The Simpsons and Family Guy, even though I haven't really seen much of Family Guy, I'm pretty sure they've done episodes like that before, where it wasn't really canon and or it was, like, a clip show episode, but... I don't know, that was a pretty interesting episode, but the fact that all of that could have been avoided if Stan just, you know, said, oh, Roger came up with this idea and it was good, so I'm going to do it. Is he really that fucking insecure about people thinking that he has shit ideas? To the point where he was willing to risk fucking everything so people think that he came up with it. Like, Roger was pretty much fucking that entire show up. But I mean, to be fair though, Roger was a fucking idiot for letting that guy out. Like, what did he expect to happen? Like, he could have... That would have been Roger's fault. I mean... Stands to an extent, but like it would have been Roger's fault if like everyone got fucking blown up there. Also, but the fact that the code was one two three four pound is kind of hilarious because like they surely they could have just easily guessed that, but obviously they didn't think it was gonna be one two three four because that's the fucking stupidest password ever. Roger helped, like you know, get the information out of that guy, but technically Stan is the one that came up with the idea because. He did, you know, go on there and be like, yeah, we're all about to die, send money now. Which, the fact that that actually worked is kind of insane. Because I really did not expect that to work. Especially since they're, like, several hundred, like, a couple hundred thousand dollars behind. 
But I mean, I guess it worked. And the fact they did it with like three seconds to spare is kind of insane. But Roger's outfit though was actually pretty cool. I liked it, but <laughs> I don't know why I found it funny though that him with that keyboard thing. And then like, you know, when he fucking fell de like down, pretty much from the top to the bottom, trying to, you know, be like, oh yes, I know how to do this. This is my mastery element, whatever he said. But oh my god, Stan's such a dick though. He should have just told the truth and all. Half of that would have been, pretty much all of that would have been avoided if Stan just said, oh yeah, it was Roger's idea. But I'm going to leave it here. That was a decent episode. It was very different though. But I enjoyed it still. I'll see you next time though. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.